करते हो God loves you Mungu anakupenda God loves you Mungu akupenda You know several years ago I'll never forget I was preparing for a Sunday morning service Nilikuwa najitayarisha kukuja kuwa ibada This was some time before the kulikuwa 994 muda kabla hatujaingia mwaka wa 1990 na I just stayed all night nilikaa usiku mzima just studying praying nikisoma biblia nikiomba in suddenly about three feet away from me the lord stood there bwana yesu akasimamba pale mbele yangu and i'll never forget masita wa isahau as he spoke his voice broke i'll never forget yake kavunjika he was concerned alikuwa that so many was still sick na 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 kuhangaika jinsi wengi waliogonzwa baada ya kufanya yote ambaye alifanya and he said to me he said kaniambia heal the sick waponye wote wagonjwa you know the several things that he talked about were all important kuna vitu ambavyo alipelea ilikuwa muhimu sana that he came there was to say to me heal the sick cha muhimu alichoniambia ni waponye wagonjwa one day siku moja i had asked the lord this was nilimuuliza uh, bwana yesu a very interesting occasion ilikuwa ni siku ya mshangao kweli i gone pretty early to the office. Nimeenda asubuhi mapema ofisini. I was somewhat concerned about certain things that the Lord had asked me to do. Na ndio na vitu fulani Mungu alikuwa amenifanya. So I just thought to myself I, I've got to I've got to talk to the Lord about this. I need I need him to straighten out some things. So I decided to go very early. So I was in my office. And just as I was sitting at my desk, I said, "Oh Lord." I said you've told me several things to do. I said, Can I understand the priorities? What's the first thing? Of all this, what's the first? As I was asking just as quickly as I asked nilipokuwa nauliza jinsi tu nilivyouliza from just above my head hapo tu juu ya kichwa changu the voice spoke sauti likaongea the lord said very clearly he said mungu akasema healing to the nations uponyaji kwa mataifa In fact it was so I, I didn't have to wait. It showed me the eagerness of the Lord. to heal sick people. Watu He's so eager. Mungu He's so willing. Did you know? Unajua in Christ Jesus when you're born again wakati unapokuwa mzaliwa upya he guarantees you anakupa something far better than he did cha kutarajia in Christ kizuri. Jesus when you're born again healing is generally for the whole world when you're born again and you receive the life and nature of Christ unapokea what he gives you wa Yesu Kristo is divine health anapokupa anachokupa he guarantees your health 
uzima wa afya absolute health afya ambayo itokayo kwa Mungu na usikane kabisa kwa Mungu kweli acha nikuoneshe katika maandiko John and verse number 2 kitabu cha kwanza the third epistle of st john Johanna. verse 2 look at it beloved i wish above all things that thou mayest Pen. prosper and be in health even as thy soul katika mambo yote yani uwe na na na, na, na maarifa na uwe na uzima look at his priority at jinsi moyo wako unapata kuongezeka he didn't say and, and get healed He says being healthy. Akasema ni kuwa na uzima. divine health. Akasema ni This is God's plan. Mungu. This is God's purpose. Ni ni ili ni mpangilio wa Mungu. Says, I want you to be in health. Nataka He doesn't want you getting sick and then getting healed and coming back sick and then getting healed and going back sick. No, he wants you to be in a state of health. Kuwa katika hali ya afya. You see If he didn't tell us we wouldn't have a right to expect it then those who say to us everybody gets sick sickness is normal they would have been right but with the word of god they are wrong they're wrong god wants us in health mungu anataka sote tuwe katika afya I could show you several other important areas of the Bible. In connection with this. But the thought I, I need to communicate with you. Today is very simple. And it comes from three special points from the word of God that I will give you. It's not for long. But the very vital things you need to know. Ni muhimu sana Now I want my studio audience you can sit down so good to see you. You're oh, wonderful. Naona wote mko salama na thank you Lord Jesus. Asante sana bwana Yesu. The first thing is for you to know that God Mungu gave you alikupa wewe a body alikupa wewe mwili you are not the body that you see you are a spirit being you are not a human wewe, body your body is your house wewe ni, your body ni, is the ni, place ni where the real you lives roho wako ndio una 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 una, una kuwa your una, real una person lives wako. in that body your body is not you That's why when a man dies he is not extinct his spirit lives on his spirit comes out of the body that's actually what causes the body to die when the spirit comes out of the body the body dies. Because the spirit came first. When you study in the book of Genesis, the Bible tells us in chapter 2 how God created man. It tells us that God created man and then formed man. So he created the spirit man and then formed the body of man from the dust of the ground. So the real man was spiritual, created by God. His body was formed from the dust of the ground. That's why his body dies and goes back to dust. But the man lives on. This is why you can recognize the voice of God because you are a spirit being. You are not an ordinary body. You are not like an animal. No, your body is animated differently but your spirit has the life of God in it. Lakini the roho yako of God. Kona utu wa Mungu. The nature of God. Utu wa Mungu. So in truth you will live forever. Kwa hivyo kwa kweli utaishi milele na milele. Ends in the earth 
lakini mwili wako huu kwa udongo utabaki humu duniani lakini roho yako itaendelea kuishi there are some whose bodies will die when Jesus comes back the bible says their bodies will be resurrected mungu anasema kwamba mwili wao watapata mwili mpya and those who will not die before the lord shows up before the lord returns the bible says their bodies will be changed in the twinkling of an eye the speed with which you twinkle your eye so fast it will happen you have a new body so understand that god gave you a body to function in the earth so you actually live in your body this is the reason satan likes to destroy the human body because your body is what you require to function in the earth to give God glory. You can't glorify God with a sick body. You can be a sick body. With a sick body. Satan likes to destroy the human body. But destroying the human body anapenda kuharibu mwili wa binadamu kwa sababu so you understand exactly what this is niweleze. because your body was created by god kwa sababu mwili wako ulitengenezwa na mungu your body is a temple kama hekalu your body is a dwelling place it's a temple mwili wako ni hekalu hekalu ya mungu understand that nataka uelewe it's not only your spirit that can live in your body ambao unaweza kuondoka mwili wako your spirit can live in your body hata roho wa Mungu unaweza kukaishi ndani ya mwili wako. Evil spirits can live in your body. Ata your body is a temple. Ata roho chafu zinaweza kaishi ndani yako. Jesus body was a temple. Mwili wa Yesu ulikuwa hekalu. I told you yesterday he was called the Christ. He was the Christ because the fullness of God indwelled him. Kristo sababu uzima the wote wa Mungu ulikuwa ndani yake. Uzima wote wa Mungu resided in Jesus. Let me show you something from the Bible. I want you to go to St. John's Gospel chapter 2. Let's read from verse 19. Jesus answered and said unto them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. Let's keep reading. Then said the Jews, Tena wa Yahudi wa Kamoni This temple was built over 46 years. And you will raise it up in three days? Let's read it again. No, no, no. Go back to verse 19. And I want you to look at it very carefully. Jesus answered and said unto them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. Then said the Jews, Forty and six years was this temple in building, and will thou rear it up in three days? Look at the next verse. But he spoke of the temple of his body. You see, so Jesus referred to his own body as a temple. They didn't understand what he was talking about. He says, but he spoke of the temple of his body. Look at the next verse. When therefore he was risen from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this unto them, and they believed the scripture and the word which Jesus had said. So Jesus referred to his body as a temple. The Bible says he spoke of the temple of his body. But the Jews misunderstood. Now, what about you? What does the Bible say? Your body is a temple. Go to 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and let's read from verse number 19. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you, which you have of God and ye are not your own. Look at that. 
So God gave you a body not just so you can live in it but so he also through the spirits can live in your body. If he lives in your body you will always be healthy. You will be sound. And guess what? You will have all the seven spirits of God in you. Seven spirits of God. It's a number of fullness. It means that he brings excellence into your life. He brings perfection into your life. Glory to God. Go back to that verse 19. Look at what he tells you. First Corinthians. Yeah. What? He says, Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own. Look at verse 20. For ye have bought with a price. He had bought with the price. What was he talking about? He's talking about the fact that Jesus gave his life for you. Jesus paid the price for you to be saved. To deliver you. To give you a new life. To bring you to God. So he says you are bought with the price. Something was offered. For you to have the life of the nature of God. Look at that. For you are bought with the price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God. Your spirit belongs to God. Your body belongs to God. I told you. You're not the body. You're your spirit. Look at that. Spirit and body. So your body belongs to God. Your spirit belongs to God. And this is so important. So who will be manifested in you? You decide. You decide. God wants to be manifested in you. In health. In his grace. In his love. Let me show you a story. In the Bible. St. Mark's Gospel chapter 5. I want to read from verse number 1. And they came over onto the other side of the sea into the country of the Gadarenes. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately they met him out of the tombs, a man with an unclean spirit. Notice that. When Jesus came out of the ship on the other side, he says, a man came out of the cemetery, a burial place. He came out of there to Jesus. And it says the man had an unclean spirit. An unclean spirit. An evil spirit. Watch what this evil spirit did to this man. The Bible tells us. Look at it. Who had his dwelling among the tombs. The man had his dwelling among the tombs. He was living in the cemetery. He had left his home. He couldn't live at home. The demons in him would not let him live at home. He had his dwelling among the tombs. And no man could bind him. No, not with chains. They tried chains. It didn't work. He broke the chains. Look at it. Because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains. And the chains had been torn asunder by him. And the fetters broken in pieces. Neither could any man tame him. The demons drove him mad. The man crazy. Couldn't help himself. Nobody could help him. Among the tombs. And always night and day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones. He didn't know what he was doing. The demons made him mad. The demons troubled him. He cut himself with stones. He inflicted his own body. With wounds, the demons, unclean spirits, made him mad. Terrible. You see, an evil spirit manifested itself in the man's body. What's manifesting in your body? When a blind spirit enters into a man, it makes him blind. 
When a deaf spirit, all these are described in the Bible. When a deaf spirit enters into a man, it makes him deaf. When a dumb spirit enters into a man, it makes him deaf. When an infirm spirit enters into a man's body, it makes him weak. It cripples him. It's called an infirm spirit. The Bible tells us about those who were epileptic. So Matthew's Gospel, chapter 17. Let me read to you. From verse 15. Now use the ESV. Let's read it from the, the previous verse so we can enter into it properly. And when they came to the crowd, a man came up to him, came to Jesus, and kneeling before him, said, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he has seizures, and he suffers terribly. He has seizures. Like epileptic seizures. He suffers terribly, for often he falls into the fire, and often into the water. And I brought him to your disciples, and they could not heal him. And Jesus, he said, oh, faithless and twisted generation, how long am I to be with you? How long am I to bear with you? Bring him here to me. Jesus said, bring the boy to me. And Jesus rebuked the demon. Look at it. It was a demon that caused the seizure. Can you see it? It was the demon that caused the seizures. It says, and Jesus rebuked the demon, and it came out of him, and the boy was healed instantly. When the demon was cast out by Jesus, the boy was healed instantly. Oh, I've seen that many, many times. Many, many times. When the demon is cast out, that person is set free. The sickness is gone, the disease is gone. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. You All want right, God to be manifested in your body. Come on, attack, come on. If he's manifested in your body, you will be healthy, you will be sound. Come on, attack, come on. The sickness will depart from you. Come on, come on. The witness will be gone. He, he gave us power. He gave us authority to cast out devil. He gave us the ability to cast out devil. He told us to do it. It's in Mark's gospel. Chapter 16. We're reading from verse 17. And these signs shall follow them that believe. These are the words of Jesus. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. That's demons. In my name shall they cast out demons. Today. We're going to use the name of Jesus to cast out demons. And the demons of cancer will get out of your body. The demons of epilepsy will go from you. The demons of blindness will go from you. But I've got a few people here in the studio that I'm going to minister to by leaning of hands. And as I pray for these ones who are here, they're not so many, so just relax. As I pray for them, you also get ready for your healing. Get ready for your healing because the Lord is in this place. I see the blood. Oh yeah. I see the cripple leaping and running in his name. I see the dead. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Come back to life in his name. 
spirit to leave and right now they have been healed glory to god begin to give him praise hallelujah oh and the man is the man of god is, is ministering with such compassion look at that little child the man of god blows on them and right away they are flipping and running in his name get out in the name of jesus i see the the devil is come back to life in his name right now the healing power of god is moving on another child even as he just lays hands on them, blows the broken heart. Look at this. Amen. In his name. The man of God is ministering right now. Takes a hold of those children. Transfers the awesome power of God into them. And they are healed. Come on, just lift up those holy hands and give him praise. Miracles everywhere. Glory to God. Another insanity. Hands on them, the power of God is oozing up the man of God just with a touch and those devils flee. The right man of God blows and look at them. Oh, the power of God, there is rejoicing everywhere. Can you praise it? And right now, the man of God, look at them. We have those who will come. This young man has sickle cell in him. He's 31 years old. Hallelujah. He's not been able to walk well. He has been had severe anemia and weakness. But look at this right now. The man of God is lifting him to his feet. The power of God is surging through his body. The man of God has, that is it, that is it. He's healed. Glory to God. This lady has systemic lupus. She has systemic lupus. She's had it for five years. Her body, her immune system has attacked all her body. She's been detained. Uh, right now, the man of God is. Look at this man here has been healed. That sickle cell anemia healed in the name of Jesus. The man of God has just commanded her healed. That is it. Systemic lupus gone. This lady, the man of God is ministering to right now. Hallelujah. She's had diabetes, mellitus. Can you see that lady? She's healed from systemic lupus in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Right now, the man of God is ministering to this young lady. And she's healed. Glory to God. This man has been sick for the last five years. Clark Samuel. Kidney failure and heart disease. Neuropathy. Numbness in both legs, swollen stomach, severe anemia. Right now, the man of God has told him to breathe in the healing power of God. The man of God right now is commanding those devils to get out. To get out in the name of Jesus. He hasn't been able to walk long distances. Numbness in both legs. The man of God commands him to take him out of the He's taking him right now. The man of God blows on him an awesome dose of the power of God. This is the manifestation of God. You are in the presence of God. Just look at that. He's inhaling the power of God. The man of God blows another huge dose of the anointing on him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Just look at the way the man of God is in 
such a lot of now he's, oh, he's, he's helping him to his feet again still not maintaining contact transferring the power of god looking into his hands whoa the man who's gone under the power of god that's it that's it look at that peace all over him the man of god continues to minister to him that's it he's healed he's on his feet look at that he is running glory to god his uncle the man of god tells him not to run but just to receive and enjoy the healing power of god can we rejoice glory to god we are in the presence of god hallelujah now the man of god has gone to the healing line has asked for them to stand to their feet and now come on let's rejoice let's give him praise Right now, look at the man of God standing in front of the company. Oh, yes, they close the power of God straight away. And that lady is healed. That is it. Command that devil to come out. Command that devil to come out. Hallelujah. Let's praise him, praise him, praise him. Man of God just lays out his hands on the command that devil to come out. That's good. He's going to get a letter and she's healed. Eyes and that bit she is healed. Man of God looks at their case and takes the whole of the transfer and the person who have got into them. And immediately they're so they're healed. Are you not that this 35-year-old man that is in? You received a huge dose of the anointing. Everybody came here with hope, with expectation, and their expectations are not being and not being cut short. Man of God commands that devil out. Can you see everybody rejoicing? They're running, they're healed. Come on, let's give him praise. Glory, glory, glory. That is it, blows the power of God into her. This young man also, look at that, they just go under the power of God, enjoying the presence of God, healed in the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter what that case is, the cancers right now are dematerializing, spiritual condition, lady has a mental condition, right now that is it from the crown of her head to the soul, that spirit of infirmity is out. The man of God takes a hold of her, that's it, transferring the power of God, but a power of God into her body, there is rejoicing, can you give him praise? Glory, glory, glory! Isn't it so wonderful to just see the love of God? This is the love of God, the liquid love of God in manifestation. And they're rejoicing. That's it. They've not been able to do this for years. The man of God just lays hands. Again, transferring the awesome power of God instantly, either by blowing or by the laying on his hands. Look at this little child. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He's rejoicing. Can we give him praise? The man of God just lifts his hand above that child. Now transfer the power of God into that child. And that child is glory to God. Today is her day for a miracle. That's it. The man of God is commanding that devil to feed her. Lays hands on her stomach. That is it. She's healed. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter how difficult the case is. Because the Spirit of God is working through our man of God. Transferring the healing power of God. And there's still more on the healing line. And wherever you are right now, even as the power of God is, is manifested all over the world. Look at that child. Look at that child. Look at that child, hallelujah, healed by the power of God. Man of God is ministering to another child. Oh, praise God. We are so excited because we know that there are testimonies of this. Many of them came with their conditions and, their, and their, uh, the condition they've been in. For so long, sickness has plagued their homes, but no more because. Look at the way the child is just reaching out to the man of God. And he has received that dose and is changed forever. Look at rejoicing everywhere. Lift up holy hands and thank him. Praise him. Praise him. Hallelujah. Testimony. Just look at the excited. And now the man of God looks at those that have received their healing. They're running. They're jumping. They're excited. And we are so grateful to God. They've been healed to the hallelujah. And right now there are cases that are to the man of God. Hallelujah. Those who are on stretch. The man of God. Getting ready. And this is the most of the God to you. Oh, 
Diabetes mellitus has affected her greatly. She had numbness in her legs. She's she healed. Has had loss of weight. And she's healed. Look at that. Oh. That's it. Severe weakness, but she's off the stretcher. She is walking. She has not been able to do that effectively. Now the man of God is ministering to this man. He's had chronic heart and kidney failure. Kidney, chronic kidney disease for six months. He had severe extreme weakness and fainting spells, but right now the man of God has told him to the power of this. And he's cleansing his entire system. Yes, the man of God has ministered a huge dose of the anointing. That's it, the man of God has declared him healed, he's healed, glory to God, hallelujah. He's getting off the stretcher. He was in a wheelchair, wheeled into also that stretcher. He's on his feet, glory to God. Now the man of God is ministering to Queen. This is Queen Atat. She's had breast cancer for one year and eight months. And this breast cancer metastasized to her lungs and to her spine. She's had pain in her spine. She's had water in her lungs. Look at her legs, they're swollen. She's had difficulty breathing, but right now she's about to receive her Look at that, the man of God has already lifted her up the stretcher. Lifted her to sit up. Placed his hand on her back, transferring the power of God into her back. Yes, her spine has been in pain. She's been in extreme pain, but right now, lots of power of God is going through her from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet. The man of God blows again onto her. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Look at the way the man of God is just looking at her. Compassion with which he ministers. Transferring the power of God into her. Hallelujah. It has been one year and eight months of pain. Misery that is over to she. Yes, there is a morning gate. The man of God, Pastor Chris, he has been anointed by the Holy Ghost of his power, going about doing good and healing all, and now she is being healed right now. You are standing on watching the miraculous. Yes, the man of God tells her to get up, tells her to get up, tells her to come, and she's getting off the stretcher. She's standing on her feet. Glory to God, glory to God. This lady has been in pain. Her spine has been in pain. Now the man of God is instructing Come out in the name of Jesus. That devil that slays her spine, that cancer move from the rest of her spine, and that is it. She's healed. Glory to God. Now the man of God is ministering to this young man. He's 44 years old, and he has dilated cardiomyopathy. It has caused numbness in his legs, severe weakness, and he has had a feeling of death. Of death, but look at the man of God, he's blowing the power of God into him, commands him to receive strength and the healing power of God to breathe in him. And you know, as he breathes in all over him, we're just looking at Queen Atat again. She's walking, glory to God, she's just been healed. And the man of God has commanded him healed. That is it. That is what you could understand. He's on his feet, glory to God. This little child is six years old, born with a hole in his heart. And now the man of God is ministering. Hallelujah. Six years of pain. And right now, look at this. Look at that. The man of God laid hand, laid hand on his chest. He's transferring the power of God into him. Hallelujah. Blows on the child. And look at his mom just beside him, lifting up holy hands and his thank. Look at the child is already getting up. The man of God blows another huge dose of the anointing into him. Wow. Just look at the power of God all over that child six years of age the man of God blows on the mom she's under the power completely look at the child just looking at the man of God intently now the man of God is helping the child off the stretcher and look at that the boy is on his feet the mom is excited he's here glory 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 hallelujah six years look at that a hole in his heart born that way but now he's healed by the power of Give him praise, give him praise, give him praise. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. He 
Right there where you are. Right there where you are. Sylvia, Jesus is here. He's here. Jesus is here. Jesus is here. And he is with you. Right there. Can you hear that? Healing your body. Can you hear that sound? Jesus is here. Jesus is here. Touching every heart. Thank you, Lord. Reach out in faith. Your miracle is now. Oh, boy. Jesus is here. Right here. Touching every heart. Healing your body is making you. The Lord is present with you right now. He's in your room. Every heart is with you right now. Your miracle is now. Your miracle is now. Right now. Your miracle is now. Your miracle is now. Ignatius from Zimbabwe, you're getting ready. This is your moment. Liver failure. Liver failure. In the name of Jesus. Liver failure. Ignatius, you are here. You are here. It's done. It's done. It's done. Get up and thank God. I'm kind of guru mode. He's healed you. He's done it. He's done it. I'm done it. I'm done it. I'm done it. Akuponya amka. Akuponya amka. Amka. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Yo. What happened to Roger? He's a minister of the gospel, but he's got chronic kidney disease. Kidney disease. Roger Brane. This is your moment. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I rebuke the infirmity. Thou devil of darkness, come out of his kidneys. Come out now and return to him no more. Rene, you are free in the name of Jesus. You are free. You're here. It's done. Hallelujah. He's also got kidney failure. Kidney failure. Brandon. Here's what I want you to do. Right there, take a deep breath. I'm passing out healing to you by the Spirit right now. I'm transferring healing to you. I'm transferring healing to you. It's entering your body right now. And it's going through every part of your body. Every part of your body. And also bringing you strength. In the name of Jesus, Brandon, get up now. Get up now. You are here. It's done unto you. Hallelujah. 
Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So this old from South Africa. So this nine-year-old boy has diabetes. Nine years old. Diabetes. Type one. It's all gone from you. It's gone. Zuniso, all the diabetes is gone from you. You're free. You're free of diabetes in the name of Jesus. You're free. You're free. You're free completely. Hallelujah. Magdalene is using crutches because she had a fractured fever. Magdalene, put your hands around your waist. Put your hands around your waist. Oh, that's the power of God going through your limbs. That's the power of God going through your limbs. That's the power of God going through your limbs. You are here. You're here. It's done unto you. Look at the crutch. He's holding the crutch. Thank you, Lord Jesus. It's done. Hallelujah. Ryan, Ryan is in the UAE. What's wrong with Ryan? He's got the collar around his neck. Yeah. He's got cervical spondylitis. Seven years. Seven years. Ryan, just a moment. Just a moment. Just a moment. Ryan. Can you put your hands on the collar over your neck? Ah, oh, that's right. That's right. Sigra Hakagres. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command healing for every part. Every part of your neck. That whole neck region, through the back, you're healed. You are healed now. It's done unto you. Hallelujah. The devil is gone from you and will not return to you. And the pains are gone in the name of Jesus. You're free. It's done. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm seeing John Michael. Yes, Pastor. He's got sickle oh cell disease God. that has affected his Faithful and just in all He's got sickle cell disease that has affected the kidneys, giving yes. him hypertension. He has multiple seizures, not able to walk by himself. All right. Can the mother just put put your hands, put your hands on, her, on his chest. Put hands on his, on his chest. Good. John Michael, I'm happy for you. Today is your day. Today is your day. I command that devil of sickness and disease and infirmity. You evil spirit of darkness, you come out of this boy's body. Come out of him in Jesus' name. I command the weakness to go. The paralysis to go. And healing. Healing, I minister healing into your body right now. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Receive strength in the name of Jesus. Receive strength in the name of Jesus. You're free, John Michael. In the name of Jesus, get up on your feet and walk. You are free. Get up on your feet and walk. You are free. In the name of Jesus, it's all over now. It's all over. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Pastor Rita had a car accident 11 years ago and fractured her knee bone. She uses crutches because she's unable to walk, difficulty in walking. Rita, right where you're sitting, Stretch out your legs. Take them in front of you. Stretch your legs out in front of you. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Oh, it's done. 
<laughs> it's done. You're healed. You are healed. You are healed. Give God praise. You are healed. You are healed. Give God praise. You are healed. Oh, hallelujah. Is there anybody in the in the house there with you? Is there anybody there with you? Oh. She's already received. Oh boy. Yes, but, but there's a there's a there's an evil spirit. But I wanted, I wanted if somebody else is in the house with her. But I gotta go on, even if there's nobody else there. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. Out. She's free. Take the band off your waist. I told you she's free. Woo! Just a moment, just a moment. I'm seeing Modupe in Nigeria. What's wrong with her? Pastor, she's got a sacrococcygeal tumor. That's a tumor at the back that has affected her limbs. So she needs two crutches to walk. And then she was diagnosed with sickle She has cell. to walk with two crutches. She's got a tumor on her back. back. How old is she? 53. She's just 53. Precious Jesus, thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you. That demon dies in the name of Jesus. That demon dies and passes out of your body right now in the name of Jesus. 
and the affected parts are healed. Healed in the name of Jesus. Modupe receives strength in the name of Jesus. Get up and walk. In the name of Jesus, get up and walk. There she is. Oh, glory to God. Yes. Well, give God praise, everybody. Hallelujah. another one today okay. yes pastor he's got kidney is enlargement niger or what's nigeria. that nigeria well the name is day day are you ready what's wrong with you he's got a right side kidney enlargement right side kidney enlargement day you're ready it's your moment of healing Your sins are forgiven you. God loves you. God loves you. He loves you. He loves you. And the evil in your path has been turned away. The evil in your path has been turned away. And God has mercy on you. And his favor in your life is showing now, manifested now. Every sickness in your body departs from you now. Every infirmity in your body departs from you now. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. In the name of Jesus Christ, get up and be whole. 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 Up and be whole. You are free in the name of Jesus. You are normal in the name of Jesus. You are perfected in the name of Jesus. It's all done. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. has been doesn't matter what the condition has been doesn't matter what the condition has been put your hand in the place where you want that miracle put your hand right now put your hand there put your hand there just put your hand there put your hand over the place right now it doesn't matter What you've been sick of it doesn't matter the power of jesus christ is greater than all it doesn't matter for how long it's been it doesn't matter it doesn't matter right now the power of god is healing spines if you had a problem with your spine god is healing right now the power of god is healing people with spinal problems in the name of Jesus, your spine is healed. In the name of Jesus, your spine is healed. Doesn't matter what happens. 
It could have been a spinal cord injury. It doesn't matter. Maybe you haven't walked for years. It doesn't matter. The power of God is going through your body right now. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. In the mighty name of Jesus, rise up and walk. I command deafness to go. I command blindness to go. If you couldn't see before, in the name of Jesus, start seeing now. Start seeing now. Start hearing now. Start walking now. In the name of Jesus, you are free. You are free. There are many that have been loose from insanity. You lost your mind, but you have gained your mind. Memory has come back to you. You are free in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed. Give God praise. Give God praise. Rise up and walk. In the name of Jesus. Start seeing. Start hearing. Start walking. In the name of Jesus. Miracles everywhere. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Demonstrate your healing everywhere. Go ahead and demonstrate your healing. You are here. Demonstrate your healing. Call us on the phone. Let us know what has happened with you. So we can rejoice together with you. A miracle has happened. Glory to God. A miracle has happened. Glory to God. Oh, thank you, Just keep demonstrating your healing and rejoicing and thanking God and share with those around you what has happened with you. Let's know you can call us too. Pastor, we have a testimony from Bahamas. From the Bahamas. Yes. Lynn has been blind for 18 years. Blind for 18 years. Eyes are open. Fibroid gone. Glory. Wonderful. Blind for 18 years. From the Bahamas. And now she's healed. Wonderful. 
This is from this is from Chad. From Chad. And, and it's from Vanessa. Republic she of Chad. Yes, she says that a lady blind. She was blind. Just